hello guys and welcome back again to my youtube channel if you're new here you're welcome please do well to hit the subscribe button before you finish watching and if you're a returning subscriber thank you so much for always coming back to watch my videos i really appreciate you guys a lot and thank you so much i'm on my way to 700 subscribers and it feels like oh my god like are you kidding me um i think i have just like six more people to get to 700 so thank you guys all of you who have subscribed to my channel and who watch my videos and who comment and who support me in general thank you so much um, my name is Bemi Olatunji and I am a lifestyle and food vlogger based in Nigeria but today I'm going to be doing a different video so anyways um, if you like what you see please definitely subscribe without further ado let's get into the video guys um this um topic has actually been trending on twitter like recently and it's the topic of nadimata with a setu you know on twitter everybody's settling one matter or the other everybody they set to one matter or the other one matter or the other and i also have a matter that i want to set to like you guys i have a matter that i must set to today and i call it a rant it's actually a rant i'm here to rant because it's not something that really makes me happy i don't think it's a thing of it's a good thing actually so i'm coming here to rant and settle the matter you know just to follow the trend uh yeah basically um it's something let me just let you guys into the gist now so i think it's been a while i actually saw this picture online once that said in nigeria once you once you dress well and you mind your business people actually consider you as being proud like that stuff is real you guys a lot of people actually judge somebody because they're minding their business and they're not coming to um be all over your matter they don't not like they don't care about you but they're just minding their business and a lot of people are calling them proud and it's like you nigerians we nigerians we have to stop this like let's settle this matter here let it end like let it end so anyways obviously you guys know i can't just be ranting because i want to rant it's actually something that happens to me on a regular a lot of people i hear a lot of things a lot of things people say about me like probably when they just see me and they just just have the impression that i'm proud or something like that and it's getting really out of hand and the last experience i had was really painful and i decided to come and share it along um i decided to come and share it with you guys because you guys are like my real g's so i decided to settle the matter with you guys so anyways uh like i said a lot of people see me um first of all i'm an introvert like i'm very reserved when i don't know when i meet new people it's hard for me to blend but then when i do like that's it like you're going to see the part of me that you're like are you sh are you serious this girl is like this you know but at first you always get that vibe of i'm being quiet uh, it's very hard for me to bond let's just put it that way i'm reserved and i could be shy too so because of that i I know when i get to a new place i'm usually quiet usually like more like on my own i just only ask questions when i need to ask those questions and a lot of people are like oh this girl she's proud they don't know me they've never had a conversation with me but they just feel like i'm proud because like i said in that picture they said in nigeria once you wear clothes you dress well and you mind your business you're proud anyway so let me just tell you guys what actually happened before this video like what actually happened that warranted this video so um like two days ago or three days ago at my workplace i wasn't feeling fine i was running temperature and all that and that was like sign of malaria and because i work in the hospital in the lab to be precise so i just went to meet like one of my boss that okay i'm not feeling fine i want to do a malaria test obviously i didn't want to pay because i'm i'm a staff you know so he just took me to like the phlebotomist phlebotomists are people that collect your blood sample for test so he just took me to the phlebotomist and you know i'm i'm someone that is so scared of needles like i fear needles i fear syringes and injections and all that so when the phlebotomy she was a lady she wanted to attend to me and then i was like scared you know she just dropped the syringe and everything i was like 
she just dropped like waiting for me to be done with my fear like she didn't have my time let's just put it that way and then i had colleagues that could collect this sample so i just told her that okay don't worry ma i'll look for someone that will collect the sample for me and then i left only for my boss to come back and tell me that uh, the report is hearing about me is not nice and i'm like what he said people are saying i'm proud that i used to i'm too proud i always raise my shoulder up and i'm like what what did you hear and then he explained that those people the flavor told me they were like uh you're um you're not like i don't like i just used to carry myself up and blah 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 blah, blah just basically saying i'm proud and saying that um Saying that the reason I didn't allow the flare botomist woman to collect my sample was because I was proud, I wanted it to be my colleague that would collect it and all those kind of stuff. And this is somebody that I haven't even seen before. Like, literally, I haven't seen her before. Like, she's a Muslim, so she wore like a hijab, her face was covered, her, and she wore a nose mask, her nose mask was also covered. So it was just like, it was only her eyes I even saw. So even if I see her again, I probably won't recognize her because I don't know her but then she has this strong belief that i'm a proud girl you know this and that and that and i'm just like where is all this coming from like you've never had an encounter an, an encounter with me and i always try as much as possible when i get into my workplace i greet everybody i see so i don't know why she feels like i'm proud i don't know like is it that you yeah let's try to stop doing that judging people before you get to know them because everybody is struggling with one thing or the other you don't know what someone is struggling with so don't go about saying somebody who hasn't done anything to prove that she's proud or that he's proud is proud don't go about spoiling someone's name dear nigerians we need to stop doing this okay anyways guys thank you for watching till this point um if you're yet to subscribe please subscribe to my channel and you guys if this is your first video of like this is your first video that you ever if this is your ever first video of me that you're watching i'm sorry i'm not always ranting i'm not always like this i i'm not always ranting but i just had to rant today anyways um without further ado let's end the video and i'll see you guys in my next video